Here's a great question. How do pilots get their schedule for the next month? Well, back in the old days, you used to have to do it on a piece of paper with a pencil. And you went into operations and you put down what flights you wanted to fly. And based on your seniority, and it, that hasn't changed, based on your seniority, they would give you a route for the next month. Then it got a little more savvy. It got computerized. And the company would print out thousands of different sequence options that you could choose from. And it came out in a big, thick you know, thing that was bound up together and you'd have to look through all of them and based on where you were based, the airplane you flew and your seniority, you would then go in and mechanically in the computer put in one after another after another by number each one of those sequence combinations. And then at a prescribed time, usually the 15th of the month, they would print your schedule out for the next month and you would get one of those based on your seniority. Now they do it with something called PBS. What is PBS? Well, it's a system that allows the pilots to go in and build their own lines. And so I can put in the days off I want. I can put in the destinations I want to go to. I can put in so many different variables. What time of day I want to depart, what uh, time I want to get back, how many days I want to be on the road, all of those things. And then the supercomputer massages all of it based on seniority. And it comes back and it builds me a line. And then uh, many times I could get a reserve line. Reserve line is another thing that uh, I'm on call, but I don't know exactly what I'm going to do for the month. I just know I'm available on certain days. So I could get a set of sequences for the month or I could be on call. It all has to do with seniority. And that has never changed. Now, you know, I'm Captain Steve. Fly safe. Wait, don't go yet. Do me a favor. Become Captain Steve's new best friend. Hit the like button, uh, share and subscribe.